How's it going, guys? Welcome to Gintama episode 261. I think we're going to wrap up the arc in this episode, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, it's been really great, so Obero seems maybe kind of dead. We'll see about that. Uh, we'll see what kind of punishment the old Shogun gets, because I really hate that guy. And uh, the reuniting of Suzuran and Rotten Maizo. I'm sure they'll have at least a little bit of time together. Although I did say, like, what if they didn't meet and then just immediately die in each other's arms? I could totally easily see that exact thing happening. So we'll see. But yeah, uh, I want to see how it wraps up. So let's go ahead and jump into the episode in 3, 2, 1, play. Starting with the ending, because why not? Okay, whatever. Maybe they want to play the OP over something that happens at the end. And then we'll move into whatever is after this, where I guess we're going to meet a guy who has a beam sword, because that's in the OP, and that wasn't in this arc, so... <laughs> that's next. This season is only... it's a 13-episode season, so... Whatever is else is in the OP has to happen. Because what? Kintama was four, this is five. Oh yeah. We got time for another arc. I like how Sadaharu's got a little, like, blushing cheek right there. His fur blushes. I would have liked to see Nobume do a little more in this arc, since she's just cool, so I want to see her do more. But we still got time. It's not over. Here she is, right here. <laughs> Can we use these pressure point needle things to, like, you know, hit him in all the spots? that would cause him the most pain possible. That'd be cool. Kinda like that outfit on Sukuyo. I think his sentence should be carried out right here and now. Stabbed in the dick. Oh, the Shogun. What's up? He's like, no, I will take him. It's so weird for the Shogun to have, like, real scenes. He's not just... a weird character there to be abused in weird scenarios. He's actually, like, saying real lines and doing real things, and it's very serious. He's cool with that. Technically meaningless, as far as the law is concerned, but uh, the Shogun is cool with it, so it's fine. Nice. I like how, uh, did they plan that, or did they all, they, did they all just know where he was going with it, and they were like, yeah, we know what to do? <laughs> they were all in step with that. I 
Oh, it's not your fault. This guy's an ass. Resignation? No. Who's gonna be the new Shogun? Your sister? Rotten Mizo? Madao? He needs a job. All right, he's in jail. Cool. Yeah, like, what the hell's gonna happen there he's, if he's really stepping down? Who are you emailing? All right, they're like, yeah, we can put our guy in the position of Shogun. But yeah, he's in jail. Cool. But uh, I want him to feel more pain. <laughs> It's not enough. Hi. Okay. And of course he has ties with Takasugi. So there could be like a literal, a big shift in power and structure of the government here. That'd be kind of cool. Oh. Okay, you sure? Yeah. I like how these serious arcs are starting to have bigger implications. You know, we had the arc with Jirocho, and then from there, Takasugi and Kamui met. We had the Thorny arc, and then he met Takasugi. And now this is happening as a result of this arc. So, like, it's all building to something. It's building. I don't know. Yep, that's what it seemed like. He was gone. Not that easy, which is cool because he was pretty badass, so I'd like to see a little more of him. Bait. Is that Urahara from... <laughs> it looked like... Anyway. Uh, he's here. What's up? <clears throat> ah, your meridians. That's like your chakra points.
Hey. If you want to kick his ass around a little bit, maybe I'm obviously they're not just gonna nah. They might just kill him right away. But uh, if you want to make it slow, that's fine. Yeah, you think you're getting out? Nah. You really think so? Bye bye, bitch. All right. That's Takasugi. Dio. I hear it. You've been showing up a lot lately. A little bit at a time, but more often than usual. That's a lot of people. Nice. Yeah, you gotta remember, he was... He was friends with Gintoki and the others back then, too. As different as he is now. It's very interesting, because Takasugi's kind of posed as, like, main antagonist for this entire show. Hey! Oh, okay. A little badass over here. So yeah, you know, Takasugi's been framed as, like, the big bad, sort of. But it kind of seems like it's going in a different direction. Where we're building to something much bigger than that. Which may result in the students of Shoyo having to work together, if they possibly can. He kind of just likes destroying things, but maybe. Maybe. Although he's got the ties with Kamui, and he's got... With, he, I don't know, he might be all up in the mix of it, I don't know, but... Maybe he'll be with the villains, and then they'll appeal to his heart, and then he'll work with them. I don't know. Pretty mu pretty messed up illness. <laughs> if you catch it, uh, your head comes off. I'm glad he's dead, though. Fuck him. <laughs> oh. He's just not allowed to resign. So now it's just like slave labor. He doesn't want to do it. He tried to quit, but you forced him to continue. <laughs> Okay, I was kind of curious to see what would happen with a new Shogun, but okay. Things are still clearly moving behind the scenes. Ah, uh, look at these smiling bastards. There is. Okay, he's alive. There's no arms. We need to reunite them. I almost forgot. There's been so much going on with all the government shit. I totally forgot about the old people. 
that was the whole point. That was the catalyst for all of it. I forgot because there was so much other shit happening. Bring you got to bring them someone to, to bring one of them to the other. Let them fucking FaceTime uh, something. <laughs> Yeah, damn it. They're gonna die. <laughs> like, even if it means bringing him out of the palace will make him die shortly. Like, I'm sure he would rather have that going out to see her one time and dying in the process rather than just staying inside living for a little while longer for nothing. He's a pretty cool dude. Uh, you don't need any makeup, you look wonderful. Uh, he's coming! He's on his way, and she knows it. Nah. Not gonna happen. Come on, what's with that guy's Hitler stash? Come on. Oh man. That's so sad, like her laying there like that. Doing the makeup. Oh, look at all those threads. Oh, you're a special man. Some Red Bull. I guess he was not, uh, he was not going to come around and let him go. We're going to need some interference. <laughs> so thanks for that, guys. Everybody. Everybody except you coming together to, to let him do what he wants. Yourself. Oh. Choose him so that he can, like, run away from them. I was just thinking about, like, whoa, being comically punished, and that's usually the Shogun's job. Uh, it, okay, it's about who has to go get the can. I was thinking about who gets to be the can and be kicked. <laughs> There you go. There's your excuse. Kick the can takes priority over any kind of political situation. Obviously. Ah, oh, man. He's, he's getting it. Barely. He's got no arms. 
but he's... He's almost fallen over, but he's going to get there. I was right. They're totally going to die together. The other option is that they die before they see each other, which would have been very sad, and it didn't seem like that would happen. So this is the way to have them have kind of a nice ending, but also really sad. Because they missed out on so much time together. So, 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 so many years. Just because of that one fuck face. What a shit. What a piece of shit. She's not already dead, is she? Okay. Why you gotta be like this? <laughs> It's fine. There's no emotion at all. Don't even worry about it. It's fine. Why? <laughs> it's fine. Maybe he won't die. They might both, but maybe just her. Oh yeah, the moon will never set, he'll never leave. He can't even hold her in his arms anymore. Can we end the episode? Because this is upsetting. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, so she died. I don't know when he's gonna... He might die right after. I don't fucking know. But, yeah. Okay. It's, it's fine. It's fine. That was probably one of the best arcs in the whole show. Has some kick-ass action. A really hateable villain. Good, good plot. Some big shit going on behind the scenes for later. Takasugi showed up. A lot of characters involved. The Shogun got to be serious for once. Obero was kind of cool. Good fight. I cried. No, I didn't. That's a lie. It's fine. That was good. It continues to blow my mind. That Gintama achieves so much in its serious arcs. Because you have shonen that have 50 episode arcs. Gintama's serious arcs are like 5 episodes. Maybe less. And somehow they achieve so fucking much and I don't understand. I don't know how he does it. And now, yeah, the... Okay, great. The movie. Uh-huh. <laughs> so, nothing. Good. Great. All right. I was going to watch the next episode right after this, but I, I need to take a small break at least. Well, um... That's it. Okay. I'm fine. Uh, yeah, that was, that was one of the best arcs. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.